Sea anemones, CSU East Bay Marine Biology, 2009. Sea anemones are marine invertebrates that are in the class Anthozoa, which means flower-like animals. They belong to the phylum Cnidaria, along with corals and jellyfish. They can be found in coastal areas around the world in both tropical and cold waters. Locally, they are found all along the California coastline in the rocky intertidal and in the subtidal zones. Like these frilled anemones found in between rocks in an intertidal zone at the Hayward shoreline. They are a common sight in tide pools during low tide. Tide pools are often host to researchers and families alike due to their accessibility. Sea anemones in the inner tidal have to deal with the crashing waves, so they are often found in less conspicuous areas, such as underneath rocks or in crevices. Like these closed, frilled anemones that were found underneath rocks at the Hayward shoreline. Sea anemones come in all colors and sizes, ranging from half an inch to five feet. They are polyp, which is a body form characterized by a cylindrical body and tentacles around the mouth. They have only one opening, which acts as both mouth and an anus. They also have a basal disc, which acts as an adhesive foot used to attach the substrate. Also, it can be used for locomotion. Although sea anemones are primarily sessile animals, they do move when conditions become unfavorable or they're threatened by a predator. Tentacles of sea anemones consist of numerous nidocytes. These are stinging cells that contain nematocysts, which are bulb-like cells that contain a hollow thread with a barb at the tip. When they are stimulated, the thread is ejected and the barb penetrates the skin of the victim and injects neurotoxin, used for defense and to paralyze their prey. The firing of the nematocyst is what gives the anemone the sticky feeling when it is touched. Mechanoreceptors located on the tentacles allow them to respond to vibrations in the water around them. Sea anemones are carnivores that eat whatever they can capture. Depending on the species, their diet can consist of anything from zooplankton to small fish, mussels, crabs, and sea urchins. They use their tentacles to bring the food into their mouth. Once inside the mouth, it goes to a simple gastrovascular cavity where it is digested and what cannot be is released out through the mouth. Anemones are preyed upon by nudibranchs, snails, fish, and sea stars like you see here. Sea anemones can reproduce both sexually and asexually. In sexual reproduction, sperm and eggs are released into the water. The fertilized egg grows into a larvae which eventually settles on a suitable substrate and grows into an adult polyp. Asexual reproduction can be accomplished either by budding or fission. In budding, an identical polyp buds from the base of the body column. A bud can be seen here. It's the darker green anemone at the base of the larger anemone at the right of the screen. In fission, the original anemone splits into two genetically identical individuals, either horizontally or lengthwise. During low tides, anemones try to reduce water loss by closing in their tentacles. Some are able to attract debris such as rocks and pieces of shell to their body to prevent further moisture loss. Many anemones have a symbiotic relationship with zooxanthellae, which is a unicellular golden brown alga that lives in their tissues. The algae provides the anemone with nutrients through photosynthesis, and the anemone provides a place to live in carbon dioxide for the algae. The four most common species native to our California coastline are the giant green anemone, aggregating anemones, frilled anemones, and the starburst anemone. The frilled anemone can be identified by its small size. They range from 2 to 5 centimeters in diameter, and they are found in shades of white, orange, yellow, tan, or brown. They live in dense colonies. The anemones on the edge of the colony have fighting tentacles to attack non-clone anemones that come near the colony. Frilled anemones are usually found on hard substrates such as rocks and floats. The aggregating the anemones generally have a diameter of 2 to 5 centimeters. Locally, they are the most abundant and are found primarily in the intertidal zone. Their bodies are green in color and their tentacles can be pink, purple, or blue. They also live in colonies of identical clones and aggressively defend their borders. The starburst anemone can grow to be 25 centimeters in diameter. They are solitary and do not live in colonies.
They are similar color to the aggregating anemones and can be identified by lines that radiate out from their mouth on their oral disc. The giant green anemone inhabits both intertidal and subtidal zones. They are solitary, which allows them to get quite large. Their body can reach 30 centimeters in length and 25 centimeters in diameter. If they live in sunlight, they will have a bright green pigment due to the zooxanthellae living in their tissues. But if they live in shaded areas, they can be quite pale. They will often form mutualistic relationships with hermit crabs, which are similar to the anemone fish relationship of other species. The hermit crab becomes coated in mucus from the anemone, which protects it from being stung. The giant green anemone will often eat other hermit crabs that are unfamiliar to it. Sea anemones are beautiful and diverse. They are an integral part of the marine ecosystem in California.